Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you five easy bathroom storage ideas that are budget friendly and can be especially utilized in a small bathroom. I'm going to take you around to all of our bathrooms and show you the different storage solutions that I have. So let's jump right in and get started. So this is my bathroom cabinet and countertop. As you can see, it is pretty small, not very much storage space. However, my husband has his own sink area, so this is just for my stuff, so it's just the right size for me. We also have a really large storage area in our closet for a lot of stuff, so we don't technically have a small bathroom, but this is a very small space to organize. One of the best ways that you can utilize space and organize your bathroom is by using drawer organizers. These ones are my favorite. They're from Walmart. They come in a pack of three for less than a dollar and way better and more sturdier and cheaper than Dollar Tree. I love these. They only come in white, but they do come in various sizes that work perfectly for your drawers. You can use several different sizes and configurations inside your drawer. This is great if you're sharing a drawer with someone else and that way you can keep your stuff separate. So I'm gonna go ahead and reorganize my drawer here and get it all nicely organized in there. I love how everything is all nicely organized and easily accessible. These ones here I got from Target many, many years ago when I was a teenager. They're basically the same as the ones you get from Dollar Tree or Walmart. I love these colors. I wish they still had them, but these are the ones that I use to organize my husband's drawers. There are so many different types of drawer organization containers. There's some at Ikea, there's some at Dollar Tree, which I'll show you. I like the ones from Walmart, and then I love these ones from Target. You can play around with the different configurations until it meets your needs. And that's the beauty of all these organization things. You find out what works for you. These are the bins that I got from Dollar Tree in a pack of three for a dollar. You can see they're a lot flimsier. They do come in blue and white, all the same sizes as the ones from Walmart. I prefer the Walmart ones again because they're a lot more sturdy, but if you're looking for some colorful ones, then these ones are also great. You can find different organization things, like I said, at many stores. These ones here I got a while ago at Michael's. They had many different colors to choose from, and they came in all different shapes and sizes. So this is what I use for the kids' bathroom here. The second area that you can utilize for bathroom storage is under the sink. So you lose a lot of vertical space here because there's no shelves in here. So I found this little plate tier from the Dollar Tree. It was obviously only a dollar and it's actually meant for the kitchen. So I'm going to put it under here and then I can put stuff on top of the rack to help utilize that vertical space since there's no shelving. And then also I can put stuff like the little Dollar Tree baskets underneath or my husband's clippers or whatever. So that's one option. Another option is this plate rack. Um, it's a different style. This was also from the Dollar Tree. It's a little bit taller, so you can stick this basket in here. This one I got for less than a dollar at um, Walmart. I love using these in the kitchen and they're just really great to hold different things. So it can be kind of like a drawer underneath and then you can also put stuff on the rack, again, utilizing that vertical space.
Under my bathroom sink, I love using a Lazy Susan. You can get them at Walmart, Target, um, so many different places. Bed Bath & Beyond, there's so many different sizes. This is what I love to use because it doesn't maximize vertical space, but it utilizes the whole space of underneath because you can spin it, put your stuff on there. I put the stuff in the middle I don't use quite as much and everything is super easily accessible and you don't knock stuff down when you're reaching behind to get stuff in the back. This is the kids' bathroom vanity here, and we don't really lose a lot of vertical space because we have some drawers here. This has a lot of storage here, so we don't really keep a lot of stuff in here, but I've got some more bins that I got from the Dollar Tree. These actually interlock and stack together. You can glue them together to make it more sturdy, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this under here to help utilize that vertical space. I'm putting the kids' bath toys in here, and then I'm also gonna put their washcloths in the bottom one. We have a ton of storage in this vanity, so we don't really need a lot of stuff under the sink here, but you can use this for extra toothbrushes and toothpaste, uh, bath toys, washcloths, first aid stuff. The possibilities are endless. We finally got a new vanity in our half bath. I love this so much better than that ugly pedestal sink that we used to have. We have some really nice shelving in here. I've got some bins from the Dollar Tree. They fit perfectly in here. Not every vanity has shelves, but I'm so glad this one does here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put these in here. I'm gonna put some of my cleaning products in one, some extra hand towels in one, toilet paper in one, and some rag towels. That way I don't have to bring my rag towels and cleaning stuff down here. We've got extra towels and cleaning stuff and everything in here. So that way this bathroom is nice and stocked. We did not have the storage space with our pedestal sink. So I love this so much better. The next area for storage is on the counter. Now you want this to be pretty, but also functional and maximize the space that you have up here. I have a pretty large counter here. So what I have on top of mine is this beautiful bamboo tray organizer. My mom got it for me for Christmas from Amazon. I will link it down below. It's very beautiful. It takes advantage of that vertical space. It's very functional, also very visually appealing, and I can store a lot of stuff up here. This acrylic organizer I got from Dollar Tree. It is um, for my makeup. I don't have a lot of makeup. Um, I do keep my stuff out here on the counter and I just love how it looks and it's very easily accessible and it takes advantage of all this valuable real estate here on the counter. This little Sterilite organizer, I got it at Walmart, but they also have them at Target and other places. They come in different sizes and shapes. It's very compact and it maximizes the vertical space. It is very versatile and it can hold a lot of stuff on the counter. So it looks nice and it can really be useful with all your storage solutions. Another option for your countertop storage is a Lazy Susan. You can put all of your stuff here and it will also maximize your small space and easily turn it to access everything. And it looks quite nice. I'm not a super decorator, but uh, you can definitely make them look pretty, but this is also another great storage solution. Take advantage of wall space above the toilet or anywhere else where you can add some shelving. This will also maximize your storage space. We have a shelf here in the kids' bathroom right above their countertop. And on here, I put things like their toothpaste to keep it up out of reach, some hair products, magnesium lotion for faith, as well as some essential oils. This is nice to keep up out of the way. Now our downstairs half bath, this is a shelf I got from Kohl's many years ago, and it's just for decoration purposes, but you can also put some pretty towels or other storage things on top of the shelf to utilize it and make it pretty. I also have this little basket here that I got at Kohl's, and this is what we use to store our extra toilet paper in. So we're maximizing this space that would not get used otherwise. So the last area behind the door, I got these hooks from Ikea. I think they're a newer product. They're lined with velvet so they won't scratch up your paint or your door. So I put them over the back of the door and then I have this hanging organizer that can hang in your closet or on these hooks. So it's got all of these pockets that you can utilize for storage. 
There are so many pockets here, so many options. You can put in extra soap, your straightener, obviously if it's not hot, so many things, extra towels and cleaners, shampoos, um, just pretty much everything. If you have a small bathroom, this is going to be the most perfect organization solution for you because you can fit a ton of stuff in such a small space and it's all tucked neatly behind the door and you won't even see it unless you close the door. So this is going to give you the maximum storage. I hope you guys found some inspiration and organizing ideas from this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.